Hello, I'm Lise Lapointe Muir, a physical therapist, and I'm here to talk to you about your rehabilitation journey during your total joint replacement here at Riverside. Things you need to consider before your surgery are preparing your home environment, such as removing scatter rugs, any obstacles that might be in your way, clearing pathways to make room for a walker. Our primary goal after your surgery is to get you home, and we recommend that you have somebody with you for the first week so that they can assist you with things such as meal preparation, transportation, grocery shopping, so that you can fully focus on your recovery. Another thing to plan for is how are you gonna get your mail, how are you gonna prepare for your pets, and how are you gonna get transportation for your appointments following your surgery because you will be unable to drive initially. If you have a bedroom upstairs, we suggest that you have an alternative option to be downstairs if possible. However, many of our patients have to negotiate steps to get into their house or to their second floor bedroom, and we ensure that you're able to do that safely prior to discharge home. If possible, it is helpful to obtain equipment ahead of time prior to coming for your surgery. If you have access to a walker, raised toilet seat, bedside commode, that is helpful. But if not, we are able to provide equipment for you prior to your discharge from the hospital. The stronger you are prior to your surgery, the speedier the recovery you will have. We recommend you exercise in any capacity that you can, such as swimming, walking, to increase your overall strength and endurance. One of our goals in physical therapy is to have you up and moving when you return to the floor following your surgery. You will be given a home exercise program specific to your particular surgery by the physical therapist prior to you leaving the hospital. There are special considerations when having a knee replacement. One, we don't want anything placed underneath the knee in order to prevent a flexion contracture. Number two, we want to make sure you ensure full knee extension by positioning with a towel roll underneath the ankle. Number three, we don't want any forceful bending of the knee. We want you to be working on it actively in order to gain your range of motion. After undergoing hip replacement surgery, you will need to adhere to the following three precautions for six weeks. The first one is no hip flexion beyond 90 degrees. That means building your seat heights up and making sure you don't sit on low commodes, etc. The second one is no crossing of your legs while lying in the bed or in sitting. We recommend that you use pillows between your legs in both of those positions. Third one is no internal rotation or turning your toes inwards. We will re review all of these with you during your course of your therapy. We hope you found these physical therapy videos useful. If you have any questions or need any more information, please contact your Total Joint Nurse Navigator.